guys, welcome to a new vlog. I thought I would start vlogging again. It's Friday and I have a full face of makeup on because I was shooting some photos and um, I finished off my last vlog telling you guys that I found some really cool vintage furniture. So I wanted to show you guys that today. And then I also have some stuff that arrived from Ikea this morning because there was still part of my sofa missing. And then there's also a mirror and a clothing rack that I needed. So I'll be unpacking that and just showing you guys again, just more updates on what my apartment's looking like. Um, I've done a good amount of work today, which is awesome. I was so sick at the start of this week. It was disgusting. I think it was some sort of stomach virus. I was throwing up. I felt like I couldn't even move. My whole body was aching. It was awful, but I'm over it now. Yeah, that's the intro to the vlog. I'm not sure how long I'm going to be vlogging. So today's Friday. Um, tomorrow, I think I'm going to breakfast with a friend. I'm going to a house party in the evening. Um, I'll probably do some cleaning during the day. And then on Sunday, I'm taking the train to my parents' place to see my family, which I'm really excited for. And then my dad's actually driving um, back here with me on Tuesday and we're bringing the rest of my stuff because I still have a bunch of my clothes and other things at my parents' place. So doing that as well. I've got like a doctor's appointment um, in just little off as well. So fun. Okay, so this is the first piece of vintage furniture that I found. Actually, it's not. That was a lie. This is the first one. This little glass and brass table I found at a little store in um, Mitte. I've forgotten the name, but I'm going to put it on the screen. I think this was about uh, 100 euros or so. And it's a bit dirty right now because I've had some cups on there. But I really love it. I think it works really well with just the couch and the floor as well and this is the second piece that i found and this i found at a place called uh wollen Möbel kaufen and would highly recommend that place so much fun to go to as well and i think i featured it really quickly in my last vlog i love this i guess it's kind of like a sideboard or something like that i'm not sure what you would call this but it's made from this beautiful dark brown wood and glass and it's got gold detailing as well i think it's Stunning. Oh my god, I'm so obsessed with it. And then to basically match with this, um, I got this armchair. Found this dark brown chair and I love the fact that it looks so worn and the leathers become like super soft. And I believe together these were around 370 euros with shipping to my place. So still not super cheap. It's probably cheaper to just go to like a market or look on eBay. But again, if you're looking for special pieces, um, that place is really, really good. I'm in love with both of these and I think they work so well. And they're also just kind of spicing up my Ikea couch. So the room doesn't look that basic. I think it's made it look a lot more stylish. So yeah, as of right now, the chair's just there in the corner. But I've got the last piece of the couch right there that I'm going to be setting up. So that's going to be just here. zone right now so i almost forgot to vlog but um i'm basically just actually collecting some feedback from you guys i asked you on instagram to tell me all sorts of information about why you follow me and what you want to see from me this year and so i'm collecting all of that and i'm gonna sort of try to like analyze it so yeah i'm in the zone i'm in a really good workflow right now and um, i've got another probably hour and a half until I need to head out and then I'm gonna grab some dinner with friends, which I'm really keen for. I uh, finished the couch and I think it looks really awesome. It's so massive, I'm in love with it. And then I did unpack the mirror. Not actually sure where I'm gonna put it. I think I wanna hang it somewhere. And then over there, there in that packet are the, or is the clothing rack that I didn't bother to unpack 
because I really just wanted to get some work done. Yeah, I'm just gonna be doing this and then I'm also uploading my new video just before I head out. I'm gonna post something before I head out and um, yeah, have dinner and maybe a couple of drinks because it's Friday night. I'm in a really good mood today because I'm getting shit done and I'm feeling just really, really happy. So <laughs> that's the update. I find it so funny to watch back these sped up videos of myself working because my breathing looks so odd. I'm like talking to myself, singing, pulling all these faces that I don't even feel myself doing and don't remember doing. And I look so stressed out at times. It's actually hilarious to me. Okay guys, I've just finished working or basically I have to get ready for dinner and I think I'm gonna freshen up my makeup a little bit because I've had this on all day. So I do this quite a lot because I film during the day sometimes or shoot or whatever. So I do my makeup in the morning and then when I go out at night, I don't really wanna redo it unless it's like a special occasion. So I'll show you guys how I normally freshen up my makeup. I'm really, really keen for dinner. I think I'm gonna have a pizza or pasta. Okay, so the first thing that I do is just have a look at what my makeup's looking like. This is looking pretty good actually, but for me, just at the end of the day, it's always really dull and just doesn't look as fresh obviously anymore. So the first thing that I always do is I grab my mist. This is from Mario Badesco, I always get these. I think they have three different ones and I just always switch between them. I don't really have a favorite. This is the purple one and I just spray this all over. Makes it look fresh again and also if your powder is like starting to look cakey and stuff, this fixes it at least for a little bit. And then I usually reapply brow gel because even with the best brow gel, my brows are kind of all over the place at the end of the day. Now the next thing I'm going to do is actually reapply blush. Blush is usually the first thing to fade apparently. Um, this is my favorite, oh my god, this is from Nude Sticks and it's called Sunkissed. It's so convenient, I actually carry this in my bag nowadays as well because I love the look of blush. Especially having gotten a bit paler in the winter and just not looking as fresh because I'm not that tan. I think blush can really save you, so I always carry this around with me now, or try to at least. And then I grab some powder, this is from Charlotte Tilbury, and this is the Airbrush Flawless Finish. This is such a good powder. I just put this all over and it kind of evens out my skin um, instead of putting on more foundation or more concealer. This like does a pretty good job of just making everything look a bit smoother again. And then I usually do an extra coat of mascara because my lashes sort of drop down a little bit during the day. And this doesn't necessarily lift them because it kind of just adds more weight, but it does just sort of darken them, I guess, and add a bit of volu volume. So I don't really mind that. I think it lifts them a little bit maybe. I think we're done. I'm gonna pop some lip color on in a second when I'm actually going out. Okay, don't even know if you guys can see a difference on camera, but that's what I usually do just to like freshen up my look. And yeah, I'm wearing this top. I think I'm gonna put on some gray jeans and then a warm jacket because I'm absolutely gonna freeze. Okay, Shh. this is what I'm wearing. So this top is from Reformation and I am wearing a cardigan this is from american vintage this is harris wolf london and then i'm wearing these lee jeans i've been wearing these so much they actually flared and i think they look amazing and they're so so comfortable and i'm wearing docks with them and i'm taking this black bag and then i'm also putting on a scarf and this actually matches with my cardigan so i'm not mad about it let's go I'm very keen for pizza, but also pasta. I still haven't decided. Also, is it just me or does anyone else study the menu before they go to a new restaurant and decide exactly what they want to get? That's usually what I do, because otherwise when I get there, I'm just overwhelmed. <laughs> I don't know if that's weird, but I always love to look up the menu before I go to a new place. Chilling out for a little bit. I'm watching Chia, which is 
so good, would highly recommend. Whoops. Not sure what that was. I went for breakfast with a friend, which was really nice. And then we just walked around Mitte, did a little bit of shopping. I picked up some really nice things, which is great. I need to do some cleaning as well. And then I'm gonna get ready because I'm going to a house party tonight, which should be fun. Tomorrow I'm actually going to my parents' place in Düsseldorf for two nights to see them and to pick up the rest of my stuff. So that's what's happening. Okay guys, I'm about to head out. I actually fell asleep for two hours because I was so tired because I didn't sleep that much yesterday or the night before. I'll show you guys what I'm wearing actually. Wait, I wasn't sure what to wear because I'm going to a house party where I know one person. So I have no idea what like the dress code is. Not that it really matters. And I'm wearing this shirt that says cowgirl. But it was kind of cute. This is a vintage leather jacket and then the skirt is from and other stories and I'm wearing docks with this. I am gonna put on a big coat over the top because otherwise I would freeze. But yeah, I'm ready to go out. I don't think I'm gonna have a huge night. I'm hoping that it's gonna be more of a chill house party but we'll see. I'll talk to you guys probably in the morning. morning guys i feel like this vlog might be just a bit of a mess but i'm sticking with it and i'm gonna upload it i don't care how messy it is because i am sticking to uploading my videos this year last year i filmed so many videos that i never uploaded um and this year i'm sticking to uploading so i don't know why this is so so red what the hell is going on there anyways my dad is here and uh, i think i told you guys that i was going to my parents place for two nights i did that grabbed all my stuff i saw one of my good friends there spent some family time obviously and then yesterday i spent the whole day driving back here to berlin with my dad and we took the rest of my stuff basically and also I now have my set of drawers that I was telling you guys about in the last video. My parents got this when I was a baby and they would like change me on it and keep all my diapers in there and stuff. And now I have it in my bedroom which is really special. And I've just popped the Ikea mirror that I got on top of there. I'm not sure how well that works but at least I have a mirror for now. But I'm really happy with how it looks. It really matches the floors. Love that. Um, and then also, yeah, there's just the rest of my clothes. There's more clothes in there and then just stuff that I'm gonna have to find a place for. I've got my lights now, which is great. Um, there's lots of stuff in here. So yeah, um, this is the update. I mean, you guys saw all of this. I showed you my vintage furniture. This is just dad's stuff because he was sleeping on the couch, which I hope was comfortable, but I'm super happy with it. I love the size. It's actually massive. I feel like two people could sleep on there and i um, very happy with it. Today, I think we're going to go for a nice breakfast and then I really want to buy a table um, because I'm getting kind of tired of not having a table to really work at. So going to do that and... Um, not sure what we're doing for the rest of the day. We do have dinner plans with friends at Soho House, so that should be nice. And um, yeah, I'm gonna get ready and get coffee and breakfast because I'm in need of that. Mm -hmm. 